Hello, my name is Gerald Prager. I'm a medical oncologist working at the Medica University in Vienna in Austria. With the introduction of novel treatment concepts in the treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer, we see in our daily clinical practice more and more patients living longer than three years. And this is the good news. So, of course, we cannot predict if a patient with newly diagnosed metastatic colorectal cancer is coming to our office, whether these patients might succeed the uh, three years in overall survival. However, there are, might be some uh, biological criteria. We know that left-sided primary tumors, even in the metastatic setting, have a better prognosis than right-sided tumors. We have molecular markers, among them BRAF mutations, where we know that this is a bad or worse prognostic marker. However, we have more specific treatment options even for those patients. And the good news is that uh, we have more and more patients going from first line to second line, even to third line. So prospective clinical re registries are now showing that uh, more than half of the patients indeed are going to a third line setting. And when I focus on the third line setting, we have more and more data showing that we have different options of treatment. One of these options is regorafenib. Regorafenib is an intriguing option because it's not a chemotherapy, it's a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And especially in patients who were suffering from hematotoxicity, neuropathy, or other adverse events from first and second line treatment, and tyrosine kinase inhibitor might be the best options to go for. Regorafenib, we have learned, we can use for an escalating dosage concept, uh, which was uh, uh, shown in a prospective randomized clinical trial, the so-called redose trial. So we have learned that we find the individual dose of our patients rapidly. Another option in third line is uh, the use of trifluorine tiparacil plus bevacizumab. Recently, we could show that within the sunlight study, the addition of bevacizumab to trifluorine tiparacil uh, is an a uh, superior option for patients by prolonging the overall survival and disease control, thereby maintaining uh, also the performance status of the patients. However, it might bear the risk of hematotoxicity you might have to handle. And then in the future, we might have other options like fulquintinib. Fulquintinib is also a tyrosine kinase inhibitor and had it had been shown in the Western population in the FRESCO2 trial that fulquintinib is also active in a false line setting. So patients were treated in first and second line with IV treatment and at least uh, were pre-treated before with regorafenib or trifluorine tiparacil or both. Um, fulquintinib at the moment, as I give you this presentation, uh, is not approved in uh, Europe and uh, also not in the US, but as soon as it might be available, we will have another treatment options in fourth line. So by saying this, we have to be aware that not every patient will go through every treatment options, but we know that as many active agents we are using to treat our patients with metastatic colorectal cancer, the better the prognosis is. So we really have to think when a patient is coming to our office, what is the best first, second line option uh, what uh, will I choose in third and fourth line? So with the sequential treatment, uh, the uh, probability of a superior overall survival, thereby maintaining the quality of life, uh, seems to be guaranteed. And it is crucial that we are uh, making individual treatment concepts for our patients uh, according to the tumor biology, according to the patient's uh, needs and demands, and uh, of course, also to the tolerability of our patients. So by this, I thank you so much. And if you want to learn more, go to the interactive patients case uh, we have uh, prepared for you. Uh, you go to the website and you can click on these cases. You will even get more insights how you can treat your patients uh, sequentially when they're suffering from metastatic colorectal cancer. Thank you.